My name is James Nukalos Harry. I come from uh, the Squamish Nation. Um, I'm also Kwakiwak. My uh, grandmother comes from Alert Bay, uh, Gwen Harry. Um, my father is, his name is Holacton, which I also share that name with him as well. And he comes from uh, Squamish. When I first really started to get into the arts was when my dad would take me out uh, on Pro D days in uh, elementary school, he would uh, he would take me with him uh, to different schools that didn't have a Pro D day, and he would show me um, his directive, like what he did during the day, which was uh, drawing um, directive drawing of First Nations style designs. I didn't really start to take it seriously until I was uh, out of high school, and I had a little bit more time to. Um, uh, kind of play with what I had learned from when I was younger. I learned his style at a very young age and uh, kind of grew up with that, kind of understanding how those forms work together. And um, I, I started to take it on myself, um, you know, with carving and cr kind of creating my own designs. You know, there was Northern style and then there was his own style, which he kind of developed. It, um, himself, which was uh, more derived of uh, Coast Salish style, which was crescents, uh, ovals, uh, ovoids. You know, I'm graduated now. I just graduated last year, so I'm ch trying to take my art in a new direction, specifically dealing with like the social and political identity, sense of place. Uh, well, I first heard about the project from Brenda Crabtree. The panel that I'm working on right now is I feel like a self-portrait. It's it's these two characters that I've always represented in a lot of my artworks, which is the Thunderbird, the Bear, and the Wolf. And the bottom half of the piece is, is a bear that's kind of transforming into a spirit realm. You can see how it starts to wave down and kind of, it's like deconstructed symbols that are kind of disappearing to the bottom. You know, I'm honored that uh, we get this chance to do something like this. It's um, educational for the world, really, because you know, our art is always expanding and adapting or changing.